Let's meet our competitors, our teams of Masons and Tenders, trying to do their best to garner that $8,000 in 20 minutes. From G&G &G Enterprises, Uriel Medrano. From Renfro Masonry, Gustavo Soriano. From Arizona State Masonry, Roberto Cimental. From Keystone Masonry, Mike Fuller. From Fairweather Masonry, Shane Riff. From Sargon Masonry Construction, Jose Soto. From CNS Company Incorporated, Paul Cantarella. From Fairweather Masonry, Joseph Ufranchio. From William and Sons Masonry Incorporated, Mark Ferreira. From New Way Incorporated, Howard Cole. From Capital Concrete and Masonry, Chris Carlton. From Sargon Masonry Construction, Israel Mendoza. From Curran Masonry Corporation, Noe Martinez. From Adams Fence, LLC, Gerardo Patlan. From McGee Brothers Company Incorporated, Reed Allis. From G&G &G Enterprises, Filiberto Granados. From T.P. Tuck Pointing and Building Restoration, LLC, Ben Houghton. From Sutter Masonry, Arcadio Armenta. From Stone Lake Masonry Incorporated, Dago Fieros. And from Sutter Masonry, Alvaro Landa Verde. Those are your contestants for the fastest trowel on the block. Let's get this contest underway. Gentlemen, we will start the event in five, four, three, two, one. Start the clock. Let's lay some block.
I got 16.50, so under 17 minutes remaining for the fastest trial on the block. Jim O'Connor's over there. We're going to get to him in just a second. He's going to give us a, a little update. Right now, we're over here at the NCMA tent, and we got a couple of special guests, Bob Thomas and also Daryl Winnegar. And, uh, Bob, I'm going to start with you with the NCMA, and Sean is over here helping me out as well. We're sharing microphones. Bob, what's going on with the MCA? What are we, what are we talking about? Of course, we represent the block producers that are out here, and uh, you know we've got an active group of manufacturers that are out there supplying some great product for you guys. We got some uh, good product that's going up there, and I'll say it's going up pretty fast, as far as I can tell. To it's going up super fast. Yeah, yeah, super fast. That's the super idea. Right? Fast, I mean, super fast. Super fast. Our whole idea is we want more of this block going out there, and we want more of them going up fast. Right? Yeah, they, I mean it's amazing what you guys do for advancing the industry going in, uh, dealing with Congress, pushing our trade along. Yeah. So important nowadays to have the support of Congress, which we've been fighting for a number of years. You guys have been leading the charge on that. Can you tell me where that stands now? Yeah, you know, every industry really needs an advocacy group that's looking out for its best interests, and that is what we do. Um, we want to make sure that concrete masonry is, uh, has a market that's out there that's really taking advantage of the attributes that, uh, that concrete masonry can provide. So we're a durable product. We're, we've got a lot of life cycle cost advantages, but we got to make sure people realize that. And uh, we got to make sure that the guys in Congress, whether it's, uh, whether it's uh, our elected representatives or codes and standards organizations, are giving us the credit we deserve, and uh, we're presenting opportunities for us. You know, once in a while, there's got to be some change. I understand that there's some change within the NCMA, changing of the guard. Tom, over on your side, you got Daryl. Yeah, What's Daryl's new role? He's coming into something really exciting now, isn't he? I know, and, and first of all, I want to, before we talk about that, what do you think about all this madness going on out here? This is exciting. This is a good time to be here. We're not going to brag about the fact that we were in charge of the weather today. So we're glad that we can really <laughs> Yeah, you nailed it. But uh, the, the energy is so high. The performance is out, outstanding. It's exciting to be a part of all the contractors in the show. Good vibes all around here. I love it. Let's talk about the changes now. Uh, I know that you have a lot to do with that. Tell me what's going on. Well, just for our association, we always have a producer member that can be a, a chairman and come in, and it, it brings fresh new ideas. It, it allows us to bring our regionality, learn about the national responsibilities that we have, really advocate for things like the CMU checkoff program, which is something that if you don't know much about, I'd really encourage you to come by the NCMA booth to learn more about. It's going to be one of the best investments for research, education, promotion for our industry and to support everybody out here working their tails off. So, exciting time. You know, and it's all about the information. And if you have the right information and you know what to do, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Absolutely, without a doubt. And that's what NCMA prides itself in. I mean, we educate our producers. They're advocates and diplomats for the industry. We support the, the mason contractor side of it, the equipment side of it. We really try to do our part to, to, to watch this thing continue to grow. Yeah, Bob, what about all this going on here, man? It's, it's wild, isn't it? it? It's always wild. I love to see everybody out here, the enthusiasm that we have in our industry, the professionals that we've got that are working out here. I mean, it's, it's, it's inspiring. And uh, we know that we've got one of the best products out there in the marketplace. We know that we've got market growth opportunities. We just know that we got to do a better job of promoting it and so um, we're optimistic and we're enthusiastic about this uh, commodity checkoff program and we hope that the whole industry will get behind it that is is so cool and you got you had said a word professionals you are making those people the professionals courses like the technician programs field testing technicians I actually went through it myself so that I can learn more about the NCMA yeah. how the blocks that should be tested a lot of technical aspects to what we do in our business not everybody has it, but the NCMA offers it. Where can they find more about your site? Yeah. Hey, come over here. We're at ncma.org, and then there's another uh, website that's out there, which is cmucheckoff.com. And so uh, check it out, and we're here to answer any questions. Awesome. That's awesome. Bob, Daryl, thank you so much. Come see these guys out here. Sean, right now we're going to throw it over to our colleague, Jim O'Connor. He's actually in the, in the throes of the 20-minute contest. We've got, oh, i got to get that clock back up on the Jumbotron. Jim, what do you see over there, my friend? I know you're hiding in the arena. Boy, I, I see a, guys, a lot of guys flying, and this game has changed. You know, Block used to be just backup, as NCMA told you. So they're making this work um, very pristine, too. It's a, they're great-looking walls. A bunch of them already have two courses in. We're only uh, we're only eight minutes into it. So uh, last year, I think it was close to 120 block laid, Brian. That's right, Jim. Is that incredible? It's amazing. It's amazing. 
in 20 minutes. That's what we get in a, in a day. I'm like it's dead. You know what's cool about it? We got guys using one trowel. Some are using two trowels over here. There's some big names in this event, too. We got Sargon. We got G&G. We got a McGee. We got a Sutter. These guys are going to put some block in today, and I bet you money the craftsmanship will be stellar. Yeah, well, it has to be. That's what's changed. This, this block walls are really looking good, and we got standing room only. Hey, everybody, let's hear it for these guys. Let's hear it for all the block layers. Woo! Yeah, guys, keep it going. Tom? Well, thank you very They're much, Jim. I appreciate it. The clock so is back, back up on the Jumbotron, and they've got a little over 11 minutes remaining. A little over 11 minutes. And, you know, whether it's block, whether it's brick, you've got guys on the job site. There's going to be a lot of paperwork. There's schedules. There's all sorts of different things. And that's where these guys come in, in the Innovation Zone, Crew Tracks. I'm here with Brett Fairburn. And, Brett, um, Crew Tracks really does it all. Give us a little overview about what you guys do. It's all about the software these days. Absolutely, yeah. Crew Tracks is going to allow, especially masonry contractors, but any construction company, to eliminate all the paperwork from the field. So whether that's the, the time clock, the materials tracking, the production, equipment time, notes and photos, uh, any paperwork that you're chasing down from the guys in the field, we can put it on their phone or their iPad so it syncs in real time with the office. You know, guys have over the years, you know, they're writing it on a piece of paper. They don't really think about it. Why is it so critical that they have something like Crew Tracks as a software, whether it's on their phone, their laptop, or their iPad? Well, the thing is, the paper gets lost. Paper is inaccurate. Um, there's a lot of, you know, time rounding that goes on. Although in masonry and spe specifically, uh, we're the only mobile timekeeping solution that lets you turn off the time clock. A lot of masonry companies care more about the daily production than the exact start and stop times. So if you want exact start and stop times, great, we do that just like everyone else. But if you just want a digital timesheet and you want to track production against your, your estimates and get your actuals versus your estimate, that's where Crewtrax is really powerful. And we're, we're the only uh, mobile uh, field management solution that has been working with the MCAA for the last two years with a lot of masonry companies to tailor our product to exactly the needs of, of masonry contractors. Specifically, like I said, emphasis on production as opposed to exact start and top, stop times. Well, when you're working and crossing yourself with the MCAA, that's what it's all about. Now, this is cross-platform. We can use this anywhere, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's Android, it's iOS, and then there's a web app as well for the people in the office. And our, our big announcement for here at World of Concrete is we have document management now. So ah, there you heard it right there, document management. Now, what does that mean to a contractor? That means pretty much anything that didn't already exist in crew tracks, we can take care of it in document management. Whether it's a JHA where you need to collect signatures from everybody, or it's just your diagrams and plans that you want to annotate, circle, add notes, cross out, whatever, attach photos to it. Everything that, that we may not accommodate by default uh, in crew tracks can now be accommodated by just taking all your forms and making them digital. Okay, so uh, website, where does everybody go? If they want to test this out, look at the software. Crewtracks.com. That's pretty simple. That's it. Yeah. Crewtracks.com? Crewtracks.com. So it's Crewtracks.com. I believe it's Crewtracks.com. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you so much for being out here. You're in the innovation zone. Please come see them. This is the software that you need. I appreciate that. And uh, there's a lot of action in the software. Let's go to some of the action right now in the fastest trial on the block arena. I'm looking at the clock. We got a little over eight minutes. DJ so hype. I need something hard and fast to get these guys fired up. What you got for me?
One, trowels down, trowels down. That is it. Let's give him a nice hand. It's on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one. Start tooling. this trial on the block contestants. Here we go, we're gonna start with third place first with a block count adjusted of 129. Third place from Sargon Masonry Construction, Jose Soto and tender Tomas Quinones. Congratulations. Nice check and trophy there. Congratulations, guys. Nicely done. That is, uh, that is the toughest 20 minutes in sports. Trust me. Fourth quarter drive with two minutes left. Uh-uh. 
20 minutes worth of block. I, I, I dare any defensive end to try to do that. I don't think they can do it. In second place, with a block count of 130, one block was the difference in that one there. From Curran Masonry Corporation, No Martinez and Tender David Huga. Here they come. Looks like you got some fans in the crowd over there. They're screaming pretty loud. Gentlemen, nicely done. Get up on the stage and get your picture taken. And now, the fastest trowel on the block. That's what it's all about. Uh, we got lots of goodies for you right there, including that check for $8,000. What? That's a check for $8,000, right? Where'd you get that? I just cut it. I love it. That's a good man. You're a good man over there, Brian Carney. With a block count of 133 from Adam Spence, Gerardo Patlan, and Tender Roberto Patlan. That is from Adam Spence, LLC, in Phoenix, Arizona. It's okay, you can bring the Bud Light too, that's all right. Well deserved, man, well deserved. We just got more stuff. Here's a 10 pack of Gatorback mortar boards. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Congratulations, nicely done out there. Yeah, we can do a one finger one over there. High five, nicely done. Let's have a nice hand for all of our fastest trial on the block winners and all of our contestants that are out there. It was a good, close competition.